the Vertigo Swirl label. Undeniably one of the most sought after record labels of them all. Unique with its hypnosis design and unique music, it has been a must have for rock and prog collectors alike. So what makes them so valuable? Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my very most favourite record labels, which is the Vertigo Swirl. I'm sure you guys might have noticed from some of our previous videos that me and my granddad Dave absolutely love Versco Swirls and wherever we go, we always look for them. So it seemed only fitting I make this video today for you. I'm going to be talking about the story of the label, the design, some of the rare ones, and really why they are as valuable as they are. So if you do enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. On a side note, if you guys didn't already know, me and my granddad Dave have been featured on Record Collector magazine. We have a really cool three page article, so if you want to get your hands on a copy, click the link down in the description and get your copy today. So what is the Vertigo Swirl label and how did it come to be? In the late 60s and early 70s, almost every single decently known record company was coming out with their own subsidiary label. Some came out with just one and some came out with more. They mainly looked to offer something different in terms of music and design to what's on their regular label. With Vertigo, which was a subsidiary of Philips, they had their Swell label and it features some iconic bands such as Black Sabbath, Uriah Heep, and even Rod Stewart. Those bands really did make a name for themselves on the Vertigo Swell label. But what's even cooler is that there's some really unknown, obscure gems that are on this label that are an absolute must-have for collectors. They're a hell of a lot harder to come by, I must say. Some of these more obscure bands only went to make one or two albums before they basically fell off the face of the earth. One of those being a prog band called Gracious and only one of their two albums actually came out on the Vertigo Swell label. Here I have a reissue of one of their albums, which was on the Swell label. Now, if you've seen this at a record fair and you see that Swell up there, you know it's gonna be worth a lot of money, but it's just a really cool album. So let's talk about the design of the Vertigo Swell records and the label. So here is one that I have myself. This is my one of my copies of Uriah Heep's first album, Very Heavy, Very Humble on the Vertigo Swirl label. And all Vertigo Swirl releases will have the logo up in the top corner there. Now the Vertigo Swirl label was supposed to have some sort of mild Vertigo effect when it was on the turntable. And that is known as a hypnosis sleeve or hypnosis design. Vertigo Swirls aren't the only ones to do this. If we look at the inner sleeve, it follows the same kind of design as the actual label itself kind of extends from the label on both sides there. For those of you that don't know, these inner sleeves are actually really hard to find these days and they can fetch 20 pounds, even more than that. And this is just the standard inner sleeve that was released with most of the Vertigo Swirl releases. Some were different, just like Black Sabbath's Master of Reality, which had a unique black box design to the inner sleeve. If we look at my copy of Master of Reality here, you can see the difference there between the label I've shown you and the label that's on this one. It's got that black box around the Vertigo Swirl. How cool is that? Now I'm told most of these albums haven't always been so expensive. There are a few that always have been, but I'm told by my granddad Dave, who you might remember from some of our past videos, that a lot of them used to be in things like bargain bins back in the 1980s. Now in general, most of them have pretty good values, apart from the likes of Status Quo ones and Rod Stewart and Magna Carta. Now you may ask, and this might be the reason you click this video, what is the most valuable Vertigo Swirl? Now let me tell you, the rarest one of them all is Dr. Z's Three Parts to My Soul. The album came out in 1971. It boasts a three part fold out die cut sleeve with the Vertigo Swirl label. And if you wanted to get your hands on one of these, you'd be looking at well into the four figures. Some fetching upwards of 4,000 pounds in a really nice condition. So honestly, why are they worth so, so much, and they are worth a lot of money. Simply put, in my opinion, they tick almost every single box when it comes to being classed as a collectible. First of all, the music was often groundbreaking and ahead of its time. Then you throw in design that featured unforgettable images, gatefold sleeves with special features like die cut, and to top it all off, most of these sold in really, really small quantities. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my take on the infamous Vertigo Swell label. Do you want to see my entire Vertigo Swell collection? Leave it in the comments down below. And while you're down there, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Do you own any of these Vertigo Swell gems? Let me know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.